Hey guys, what's going on? In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to make an Overwatch Diva Rain Meter skin for your desktop. Uh, this is a really cool skin because I also implemented the ability for it to be able to go with your music. So, as you can see, Diva is there sitting, just playing your video game, while uh, you, you see in the background, it goes with the music you're playing. So, I turned it down a little, a little bit so you guys can hear me talk, but this is the gist of it. If you look on the left side, you see the you see it has her like pink theme that she likes uh, so here you can see storage uh, CPU usage RAM volume so it's got everything there for you you can even adjust the bars and everything but I'll get to that later so for now uh, this is the Diva Rain Meter Skin tutorial so first we're gonna start from scratch and I'm gonna walk you guys through everything I recommend that you have a 1080p by 1920 monitor otherwise this tutorial is going to be pretty pointless and it's probably not going to look right so first thing you want to do is go to rainmeter.net it is in the link in the description of this video go ahead and click download final release so go ahead click save run it standard installation install and click run rain meter so the bottom right you're going to see a little raindrop um, if you right click it you're going to see something that says manage and here are all the skins that I have you might not have many uh, if you're new to this but those are your skins and that's where all your skins are going to go so get familiar with this window because this is what we're going to be using most of the time for your second task what you're going to do is go to the link in the description again go ahead and click the diva background image you're going to see this is the diva wallpaper over here and you're gonna click set as desktop background you can go ahead and save it and then set it but I'm just gonna go ahead and set it I always do position fit set as desktop background now our background has changed next you're gonna go to the link in the description again go ahead and click the dash rain meter skin go ahead and download that and run it click install and on the left side you will see something come up okay and what we're gonna do here is let me just pull up my notepad really quick you're gonna go to the settings over here you're gonna click text color you're just gonna click it and click enter you're gonna go ahead and click the highlight color and add this code into it so copy paste that code and click enter and copy the data color and there you go so now you have a a pink uh, theme so if you go to the x-ray here you will see that everything's pink now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the background transparent so again you're gonna have to right click click edit skin and you're gonna go down to where it says background card it should be near the top so you're gonna take you're gonna take the word solid and put transparent and you're going to click save and just exit that and refresh the page here and now you will see that it is transparent for our next step we're going to go to the link in description again you're going to go ahead and go to where it says fountains of color rain meter theme so go ahead and download and click open with or save and then open it but you want to open it with rain meter so go ahead and click open with rain meter click install uh, go ahead and click these two plugins by the way I already have them in my computer so um, I'm just gonna not reinstall them but go ahead and click install and if you get that error message just ignore it it's uh, nothing you have to be concerned about it's just saying that the program might not work right but it's working right if you just follow my tutorial if you go to the rain meter drop here and click manage you're gonna go down to where it says fountain of colors so here you're gonna click fountain of colors you're gonna play a song really quickly like I'm just gonna bring up a song really quickly you might have green as default I have pink um, it's random I guess uh, let me just put down the music a little bit so as you can see one says clone I'm just going to unload that because we're going to focus on fountains of colors. So, uh, 
if you see this here, you're going to go ahead and click it, and you're going to go to where it says display, and you're going to change that to 90 degrees. You're going to change the uh, rotation angle to 90 degrees. So over here, just go ahead and make it until it's 90. So there you go. That's perfect. And for the clone 2, which is this one, it actually says clone, but it's actually the second clone of this. So load that, and then you're going to make it 270 degrees in rotation. So rotation angle over here, 270. It's very hard to, there we go. It's very hard to do that, but uh, now you can see that we can move them. So we're just going to put them like this right next to Diva side by side and I'll tell you why so you could go ahead and exit that uh, if your music's still playing you could just uh, stop it for now uh, because we're gonna go back to that anyway so now what we want to do is go to where it says fountain of color open folder and we're gonna make a new folder called D the cutout so go ahead and open that folder and remember, this is in Rain Meter Skins, Founds of Colors. Uh, again, you're going to open folder and create the folder in the skin that says Fountain of Colors. So after you've done that, go to the link in the description again, the one that says Diva Cutout. So here, you're going to go ahead and download this. Right click, Save Image As. And just name it Diva Cutout and save it as a PNG. It should be by default already saved by that, but go ahead and name it Diva Cutout. So save that. We don't need this anymore. Now what you're going to do is go back into the folder, click Diva Cutout. You're going to take that image that we just saved, which is over here on the desktop, and put it into that folder. Now what we want to do is go to where your search is or wherever you have notepad, maybe the icon on the desktop, go ahead and open up your notepad and you're going to go ahead and go back to that link that says Diva Cutout in the description and you will see this code over here uh, that says Diva Cutout .ini code. So you're going to copy this part and you're going to paste that into notepad and then you're gonna save it and just save it to the desktop for now and call it diva cut out dot ini so it's gonna save as an ini file so go ahead save that and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that ini file and put it into where it says the diva cut out folder in uh, fountains fountain of color so after you've done that, go back to Rain Meter, right click Manage, and you're going to go ahead and go to the Fountain of Color, go to Diva Cutout, and load that. So now you will see that there is a, a new skin of just Diva. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure the position is set to normal. What you want to do is go to the music that you were playing so I was playing this song and now you can see that depending on how loud the volume is the greater and louder the bars get so you can go ahead have some fun move this around experiment with um, different kinds of uh, different kinds of bars so everything is adjustable here uh, color is adjustable number of bars is adjustable ba uh, bars bar width bar spacing it's all in here. Uh, for audio, you can even make it more sensitive to music. So sensitivity, I like to raise that because that's the whole point. But what you want to also make sure of, which is super important, is that you want to go back to the fountain of color. Make sure you click the positioning and you click bottom. So it always stays behind you. And make sure you do that for clone as well. So bottom. And there you go. There is your bars. If it's not lining up evenly, uh, what you can do is go to 
the settings here and just click display invert spectrum and there you go now the bars are even with each other so if we play that song again you can see that the bars jump at the exact moment the other it's uh, mirrored basically that's what I should say mirrored so you could go ahead experiment move this around have fun guys and uh, please comment subscribe thank you very much like the video if it helps because that helps me out and uh, thank the developers who created all the backgrounds and everything for this uh, the fountain of color was created by uh, I can't even say his name Bath, and Dash was created by Jameson and uh, go ahead just say thank you in DeviantArt if you have an account alright guys peace out thank you have a good one